this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. Let's just keep moving. Okay. Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. Specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <sighs> Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Documentary. No. Shut up. Come on. Let's go. So, you ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, no. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, grabber. Now you in a wag, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. All right. Here goes nothing. You did it! Yeah. Uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score!
Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. What do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Oh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Well, come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning. <laughs> We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. These fucking guys are everywhere. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So you, you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains? You, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? Uh, no more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my, oh my God, we are way past that now. 
Ma, what, what if it had been me or... Or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker! Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire! Ma. Don't ma! Don't ma me! Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please? And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't! Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you... Piece of shit! Yes? Yeah. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Gotcha. You ain't hurting us anymore. You are done. Everybody stop! Murderous bitch. Ma, shut the fuck up. That ain't no way to be talking to your mother. Yes, sir. <gasps> Put me down, asshole! What the hell is going on up here? We ain't keeping them safe anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. I'm close. Stand by. Over.
Jahre. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Careful, Jen. She looks awful. No, she's been bit. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But our sure to hell can make you suffer. Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down! She can see in the dark. She's one of them. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die, girl. Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Ow! Leave me alone! Ow! It really hurts! Dad! That bad, huh? 
I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First, Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. If you let me bite you... What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected. Which means... Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? Do it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Nice and tender for you. Get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Come on. 
Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That mates for life, we're proud to proud say. To say. Shout it straight and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? Needs a rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. Maybe I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? What? Oh. You think this is over? This 
isn't over. You understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him at go! The, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. What world would I want to help you? There's at least three werewolves out there. You go by yourself, you're gonna die out there. So what happens if we kill Silas? Everybody gets better. And who bit him? Not sure. It all started when they rolled in with that freak show about six years back. But I knew he'd come back, eventually. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? Showtime, motherfuckers. Up there. Should we go find the others? No! No! We're safer in here and it's nearly morning. What the? The outside. But there must be something we can oh, do. Yeah, but what? Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes.
Caitlin, this way. You motherfucker. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. happened six years ago there was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy which I've just put together is Silas oh shit it's a long story no it's not there was a fire Silas the wolf boy escaped bit a bunch of your family you failed to stop him Burn. 
What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? <laughs> Okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Go team! has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. 
We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show glitch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Stop. Are you sure about this? Shoot. Please, let's just, let's just go before we, we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I 
even started to like you. Not now, not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end, no. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Oh, I could hide beneath the wings of the bluebird as she sings The six o'clock alarm would never ring But it rings and I rise Wipe the sleep out of my eyes My shaven razor's cold and it stings Cheer on it, me now to a daydream believer and a homegoing queen. You once thought of me as a white knight on his steed. Now you know how happy I can be. Oh, and our good time starts and then without dollars to spend But how much baby do you 